Now, heading back probably a little bit into the past, this week, uh, Princess Anne's former husband, Captain Mark Phillip, he turned 75. As always, the media never misses an opportunity to rake over some old scandals and stories, including a child out of marriage and a kidnapping attempt. Uh, will he ever survive these things? And it always makes for a good yarn, doesn't it? Well, it does. I mean, you're looking back on it. Uh, we've had some big, big raw birthdays uh, over the past few years, and certainly Captain Mark Phillips becoming 75. I mean, it, it takes us back through the history books. Certainly, there was scandal and infighting. We've had a plenty over the last couple of years, but that really was a period throughout the the raw landscape, which was you know, tarnished with with scandal and heartache. I mean, the Queen spoke about her Annis Horribilis herself, where um, her children were separating and divorcing in in, um, in great measure. And um, where the, the, the scandal of Captain Mark Phillips having a child out of wedlock, a, a lady called Felicity Wade, who then had to produce a, a DNA test in order to get uh, Captain Mark Phillips to, to own up to being her father, it really sort of set in motion from the 80s into the 90s, a period of real destruction within the royal family. But, you, but c coming at the back of that, uh, Princess Anne, and Mark Phillips had had really repaired their relationship, and not only I think because of their two children, um, but for their own relationship as well. And unfortunately, that it is one that they do get on, were managed to co-parent their children successfully. But as you say, a trip down memory lane is a, is always a nice thing for us in on the media landscape, and I'm sure people have enjoyed reading it this week as well. Now, on to Meghan and Harry. They've been out and about in Hollywood at a charity event for First Responded hosted by Kevin Costner, where apparently they caught up with their good friend, Oprah. Can you give us a rundown? Well, I mean, it was literally a who's who of, uh, of, of big Hollywood big ways. It was from the 1805 Live event that Kevin Costner has hosted at his $21 million Santa Barbara mansion. And, the, and again, you look at who was there. Um, uh, Oprah Winfrey was there, which obviously people were straight zoning into the pictures of them and uh, of, of Harry and Meghan with Oprah Winfrey because... Just over two years ago now, we had that huge, huge interview that really set alight the royal landscape and, and de destroyed the royal foundations in terms of their relationship with the rest of the royal family and yeah, made the, the, the late Queen's last years uh, with her, her family pretty fraught indeed. But is this a new opportunity for Harry and Meghan? Of course, they're now living in California. What is next for them? We haven't seen too much of Meghan in recent months. We have seen quite a lot of Harry, of course, back for the coronation, riding solo, and then back uh, just a few weeks ago, tying in with the late Queen's passing. Uh, but what is on the horizon for these two? We've seen that they need to make an awful, awful lot of money to keep their newfound Californian lifestyle afloat. Are they going to be uh, mixing with some new production executives? Were they rubbing shoulders with the Hollywood bigwigs trying to get their new latest projects off the ground? Who knows? Maybe they were just there for the charity do. But uh, when Meghan and Harry are involved, you know, uh, there's, there's normally some things cooking, aren't there? So I'm, I'm waiting and watching to see what they come out with next. And we know that Meghan has been involved in a, a trademark tussle over the last year or so in relation to her Archetypes trademark application. We understand that application has been withdrawn. Um, her failed podcast has been dropped. What is actually next for her? Well, that's the big question. I mean, we have, as I said, we haven't really seen too much of her in recent months. She's been letting it, um, letting Harry take take centre stage. And of course, we had his book at the beginning of the year, which set uh, a light and torched relations, really. I mean, nobody was spared, excuse the pun, from his memoir. It was pretty, pretty brutal for all the members of the royal family. And certainly, he's still picking up the pieces of that relationship. I don't think he's going to be speaking to the king anytime soon. I saw some reports this week that the king had pretty much extended another olive branch on top of an olive branch that he'd given him last time coming to Balmoral and spending time with the family. Harry had, uh, had said that that wasn't possible. And my understanding is they haven't spoken properly for many, many months. And what is next for Meghan? I mean, she has sort of moved into the background. We did see them at the Invectors Games in Dusseldorf. Huge success once again for, for Prince Harry that we've been all together behind over the past few years. But 
as I said, they've, they've created this lifestyle where they need to earn an awful lot of money to keep up appearances and living in the Montecito, the, the, not only the billionaire, the millionaires, but the billionaires playground in California. So she, she must be planning what her next stage is. Is it going to be a lifestyle blog? Is it going to be sort of a wellness book, a new podcast? I mean, the last one didn't work out too well. So maybe they've got to try and sort of re sit back, regroup and, and work out what the next stages are. But you know, whatever it is, people are going to be talking about it, that's for sure. Absolutely, they will be. Russell Myers, as always, thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. Good to see you, mate.